Welcome back to another episode of my Ultimate Iron Man. Last time we did some giant mole and got a bunch of bird nests and been able to get to 81 herb lore. So we no longer have to boost for brews. And uh, that is very good because I still have quite a bit of toad flax left. And uh, it was a bit of a hassle to do the bird nests on top of having to go and get uh, the Greedman Ale for boost. But hey, it was worth it, and we got 3,000 doses of Sarah Brew, and we still have 1,200 Toad Flax left. As you can see, I also went ahead and planted all of the seeds we got from the bird nests. So we've got a little bit of uh, herbs banked here, and uh, today I plan on getting more herbs. If you couldn't have guessed what I was doing, my plan is to go to Herbivore, which is something that I've wanted to do for a while. I think you unlock it at you unlock it at 80 hunter, yeah, 80 hunter, and I think 30 herb lore, but it's not worth doing it until higher levels because you can get, I think you can get every kind of herb except toad flax, or maybe you can get toad flax, I don't know, um, but I, all the other herbs you definitely can get except uh, you once you hit a certain level you stop getting marantils, terramin, and Harrowlander, and that was the last thing I was waiting for. I can't remember where the one is off the top of my head right now. I'll put it on the screen as a graphic, but I know 80 herb lore was the cutoff for when you stopped getting the last one. The other ones were like 77, so I was already past that. Essentially, now that we have 81, we're guaranteed to not get the crummy herbs, although we will still get guams, which is whatever, but I'll just drop those or something. But yeah, that's going to be a uh, good source of herbs and also a really good way to train Hunter. Which we don't really need Hunter levels for much things other than diaries, I guess, eventually. Um, actually, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't think of what you need higher Hunter for for a diary if you need it. But just, you know, eventually, you know, max and catching barehanded items, that would probably be, you know, a good thing. It's just something to do. And I do like Herbivore quite a bit. I did some not in the most recent league, but it was in Trailblazer. I think I did 250 of that. Which of course was it was like 14 mil XP an hour. It was insane. Um, maybe not that high, but it was no, it wasn't 14 mil. It was like three mil an hour. But you could get a lot of XP very fast, uh, and I liked it a lot. Obviously, you had infinite run there. I've never done it with a non-infinite run account, but we have quite a few. The stamina's are actually still in um, sport because I figured I'd be using them right now. So gonna be doing that training hunter and getting herbs for herb lore and of course you know you don't have downtime but there's a lot of time when you're running in between on herbivore so i figured it would be a good way to train fletching i wanted to get fletching up to get it out of the um tiers of gothic range because you see i have uh, rune crafting fletching mining and prayer are all 77 and i'd like to have prayer be my tiers of gothic skill for now that seems the best you know, the hardest skill to train for a UAM compared to all the rest of these. So uh, I got 900 U-logs from Mole, and that's going to be a little bit more than I need to get me to 81 Fletching, which is uh, from just doing Broad Arrows. And 80, originally I was just going to do 80. I figured like a, hey, that's a nice round number. It gets me Magic Short Bows if I need that. But 81 you do need for of a rock elite diary you also need 89 smithing which i don't have yet but it's like hey whatever i'll get i'll get 81 for right now it's one more level that i can train prayer for so that is the plan for right now i need about 62,000 arrow shafts which i think this will get me the, the logs will be enough for like 67 so once i hit 62 i'll probably just make these into bows or something and maximize the xp i get but then i'll just grab the arrows or the uh, the arrow tips and the feathers and probably just meet you guys over at herbivore unless anything else exciting happens okay and this is the setup i am going for uh inventory i got an easy clue from a bird nest so those will be gone pretty soon but i am planning on doing some birdhouse runs while i'm here since i'll be right in this general area the whole time so i've got my seeds for that hammer and chisel and then an axe to chop uh, logs. I'm holding the magic secateurs because I believe it gives you one extra herb. I think it's just one. Well, I know it gives you something extra. I think it's just one. I don't think there's any more than that. But yeah, you need those for herbivore. And then, of course, I've got the arrow shafts to make into headless arrows while I'm running. Uh, that, I'll go and get the broad arrow tips once I, you know, have these done just to save inventory spaces because herbivore, there's going to be lots of noted herbs in my... Uh, my inventory we'll see how that one just because i think you only get like three or four per catch but hey they, they add up 
you know, in time. So uh, hopefully this will go pretty good. And I guess I'll just check in maybe after like 25, see what my XP and hours looking like, what I've, uh, how, how I'm feeling it. This is gonna be KC number 25. And you can see one of the things I learned very quickly is that inventory space is super, super key here. I think if you had the herb sack, that would be really, really helpful. Uh, I don't, well, I think the only ways you can get that are Tithe Farm or Slayer, which I might have enough Slayer points, but that's just not, that's something I'd drop like right away. It's not super, super great. That, although maybe if I am doing Slayer, I don't know. If I ever wanted to like super grind out herbivore, I'd uh, consider doing that. But I'm just doing this for for fletching in the meantime. But I like I got rid of like for birdhouse runs. I might even stop doing those. But I definitely like I got rid of uh, the, the axe and like the hammer and chisel and stuff that I was keeping just because it was like it's you could only do like two trips sometimes once you start getting the noted herbs before you'd have to come back. So it's whatever I can do to save me a run over to the tool leprechaun. Apologies if you can hear it's so much background noise. It's uh, too nice a day not to have my windows open, but that's going to be 83 Hunter. We can now catch dragon implings with the net, of course, but still. There have been a couple times where I've been the only one around when I see dragon implings. It's like, oh, if only I could uh, catch those without boosting, but now we can. We're going to be coming in with KC100 at Herbivore. And I'm a decent way through my arrows. Um, there's no math I'm done, but I just, I think I estimate probably around 250. I'll be done with the broad arrows, assuming it takes as long to do the arrows, the tips as it did to make the headless arrows, which I think is the case. I don't think you do them faster. It's just a lot more XP. So uh, it'll be a nice number to stop about where I, if, I felt like I did a lot of it during the league, but I know I only did 250, maybe I did 500. Because this has all been one day so far, and even then I haven't been like doing it all in one session. So it's it's goes pretty fast, and you get good XP even in the main game. I will say I did stop doing birdhouse just because in, like I'm working with like nine open slots here, pretty much. It, the inventory management is not great for a, for a UIM. I probably could like obviously you know I don't I don't need to have um, the hoggy saplings or the cowquat saplings or the uh, seeds anymore at this point. But uh, I just don't want to go to the hassle of suiciding again. Or, well, actually, I mean, I, I could put them in the looting bag. I have room right now. But, like, I'm eventually going to need these t like, in tomorrow or the day after, you know, for farm runs and stuff. So, might as well just keep them out. It's not the end of the world. Oh, good morning, gamers. As you can see, I have moved on to the broad arrowheads. And it was almost 100% exactly 3.5 mil for all of these so pretty expensive uh, but we do have a lot of money in the namers and, and i also realized that uh, there's not really reason for me to have my cash stack on me right now so i can just dump everything in there so we've got 55.3 mil in nightmare zone right now and then i drop that and that's one more space for herbs that now look at that that is a lot of inventory space oh actually i'm going to need one space open for whenever i start making the arrows so not as much as I thought, but still a decent amount. And a very short amount of time later, after the last clip, we're about to get our first fletching level. The XP an hour is really, really going up since we started switching to the uh, arrowheads. Actually, what is that right now? 181k an hour, that's probably gonna go down because my hunter's at 82 and I usually average out about 70 once I have a full, you know, routine going here. Not a hunter level milestone, but once I start fletching like one or two more of these, we are going to have another level. What's that going to be? 79, I think? Yeah, 79 fletching. Man, I, these levels are coming in so fast. It's the end of the night for me because it was, it was Easter today, so they were with my family for a while. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, going really, really fast. I, I thought the hunter was going fast here too, but fletching is even faster. It's just a very boring skill to train, unfortunately. 180 Herblore KC Herblore. Oh my gosh, that that threw me for a loop. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think I'd get the level. I thought you got the XP when you attack the herb or harvested the herbivore, and not when you just hit, hit attack the tunnel, but. I was wrong. Anyway, 84 Hunter, 180 Herbie KC, and uh, with 84, it wouldn't have been a message anyway because it's barehanding an impling, but we can now barehand a ninja impling. So 
That's not uh, super cool or anything, but it does mean that I can go over to the Implings plugin here and I can change Ninja Implings to Highlight because now we can barehand them, which just means they're decent alpables. I don't even know if this is like interesting enough for a clip, but it's it's not a level. It's just 200 herbivore KC because there's not really any like milestone that we're going for really. It's just kind of the only thing is you you got the pet as a one in three thousand drop I think, and it's just kind of something I'm doing until I get the fletching level I want. It is the dawn of hopefully the last day, and we're starting out with 80 fletching. We can now make magic short bows. Which is, that'll be good if I ever do like uh, wildy stuff. I want to go back to Venonatus at some point to get my D pick eventually. <laughs> I don't know. And that'll be a good way. Then I don't have to go and worry about making dragon fruit pies to boost. I can just make a uh, magic short. We're in a good spot actually because I can make a magic short bow. I can make black D hide now. We're in a really great spot for uh, wildy content. And at last, my long journey is coming to an end. It wasn't that long actually, it's only been a couple of days playing pretty casually. That's 81 fletching. We can now make rune darts. That is what we need the uh, the diary requirement for, if I remember I mentioned that. But we need to, I think we need to make them from scratch, so I still need the smithing level for rune dart tips, which is gonna be a while. But hey, now we have the uh, the fletching level. And I'm my map is probably the closest I've ever been. Usually whenever I try and calculate for fletching, I'm usually pretty off. And I knew I would be like uh, 500 off, but I seem to have like almost a thousand extra, so I don't, I always do something a little wrong in my calculations. It's probably, I think I just messed up however much I would get from making, oh no, I know what it is. So I calculated my fletching level before I'd even turn my U logs into uh, to arrow shafts. So I made enough arrow shafts, but then I made, I still had like a hundred some logs left over and I made those into long bows. So that, that bumped me up and maybe not need as many arrows, so. Not a huge issue. Uh, I probably could have saved, you know, a couple thousand GP, but I'll just turn it into fletching experience real quick. And you see, we got just about just over 250. 250 was my estimate for how many herbivore we would get. Uh, but I started going kind of slow, like focusing more on fletching and less on herbivore. So, or actually, no, the the, the opposite, where I'd I'd be kind of casually doing more herbivore, especially when I'm I got to the, near the end. Like you see, I'm I'm walking right now. I didn't end up using staminas. Because uh, you could get more fletching done whenever you're walking, but I I AFK so much sometimes where like my run would already be almost fully recharged by the time I was back, so then I just wouldn't get much fletching done in between. But uh, I'll probably just go to maybe like two sixty or something, and I'm a nice even number. And then I'm not really sure. I have an idea of what I want to do next, but I don't know if I'm going to start it right away. I'm going to be going out of town. Uh, after this video is uploaded, I usually I'm uploading on Fridays, so I'll probably already be out by then, just for a couple days, but still I wanna make sure I have something that I can like AFK in that time, and I think my plan will work, but we'll see. A long time no see at the uh, Master Farmers here, but yeah, uh, wasn't too long ago we were here. My original goal was to try and get 84 herb lore so that we could boost up to the uh, pool uh, the max pool and the POH, and I would still like to do that, and it kind of feels weird to just, like, you know, half-ass it, you know, where it's like, I did a decent chunk of herbal XP, I, uh, I, I unlocked brews, we're sitting on a lot of herbs right now, I still have a whole bunch of toad flax, so it's like, I might as well, you know, just keep up with that and get back into it, and it's a pretty good thing for AFKing, which I'm still looking to do, as I mentioned earlier. I don't want, like, if I wanted to do super AFK, I would just do, like, redwood trees, but I, I'll be, like, active. It's just, you know, I'm on my laptop. I'm not going to be able to, I don't want to do anything that's, like, super, super intensive, like a boss, you know, or a slayer or something like that. So I think that is a good compromise. And I ran some numbers just to give you an idea. We need 760k Herblore XP to get to 84. And I have about 230k just from the toad flax alone. Again, I'd have to go and get bird houses for that, or bird houses, bird nests for that, uh, which is an ordeal. And uh, based on the other calculations, I you know I took like the average amount of XP I'd get for making a potion based on all the herbs I keep and all the you know I got real math class level stuff doing the uh, the formulas for this. And the long and short of it is I need about three and a half thousand herbs, 
of just any of them. So not any, I'm not going to count any specific kind, just like everything other than Toadstool and Toad Flax, or I guess any new to, new to a flex like it will count. But like for new calculations, it's three and a half thousand herbs should theoretically get me to 84. Again, if I get, you know, more than that, I'm actually, I technically get 9.4 um, herbs per patch that I plant which uh, for my calculations, I'll just be doing, I'll considering I get nine herbs. So hopefully that'll balance out any, you know, errors or something. So I'll see how it goes because I do my calculations based on, you know, one seed, that's two toad flax seeds, which is nine herbs on average, that would be 18 more toad flax. That's how I do my calculations. So I'm just gonna be master farmers. We'll see how much I can get in probably like, you know, three or four days that I'll be gone and uh, then we'll get started farming hopefully. So thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.